All right, guys, last and final Scent Club kit it has dropped officially. We have already sold out more than half of Scent Club kit number eight, and I'm making the official announcement for this drop now. We will run out of this very, very soon, and I'm so excited to be able to talk to you about the fragrances in Scent Club kit number eight. I'm so grateful to be able to get these fragrances, especially this one here, Vanna Gloria from the house of Laboratorio Olfativo. This one is called Methexis from the house of Manos Gerakinas Parfums. And then finally, Disco from the house of Zernel Gilly. Three amazing fragrances, three of my most recent favorite fragrances, and I'm offering it to you guys today in Scent Club kit number eight, the latest kit in uh, the collection of kits that I've put together and curated with the brands. So I'm gonna talk to you about these three fragrances today and what they're all about. And again, these are currently selling on the website linked in the info box. Get your kit now before we run out. We will be running out of this one. As I said, we've already sold more than half of the kits. And again, these will run out. And I'm also gonna to talk to you a little bit about the mystery box that we dropped a week ago, a week, a little over a week ago. I'm going to talk to you about discount codes and everything about that. And I think you, you guys should be all getting your mystery box kits already. And just wanted to kind of go over those. Anyway, find out all about Scent Club kit number eight. A little bit about mystery box number two coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about Scent Club kit number eight. I'm so happy for all the three fragrances that are in here. This is the last kit we're gonna drop for a bit. Uh, I think the next time we'll do a kit will be late February, March sometime. So we're gonna, we've got about three months after this to do another one. And also another mystery box, probably sometime in April or May. I don't have official dates for any of these. So it will be, I, I'm a bit tired because uh, Doing two kits back to back took a lot of time. Mystery Box actually took a lot of energy. There were some issues with it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we ended up with a great collection of fragrances. And then the fact that this regular Scent Club kit had to launch right after just was a bit exhausting. But I'm very, very happy for the results of these kits. Really, really happy to be providing all these amazing fragrances to you guys and so you can sample them and figure out if they're fragrances that you like. So let's talk about the Scent Club kit number eight first. As I said, we have three fragrances, three awesome fragrances. One I've been talking about since the launch in 2021. This is Vanna Gloria from the house of Laboratorio Olfativo. Remember, that is something that smells like baby cat. If you've been wanting to get your nose on YSL's Baby Cat, now's your chance, especially if you haven't already gotten your nose on Vanna Gloria. Next, it's Manos Gerakinas Parfums Methexis. Now, this is a brand that's not very easily found here in the States. So this is your chance to smell your, my favorite, I should say, not your favorite, my favorite fragrance from this house. It's called Methexis, created by Chris Maurice. Laboratorio Olfativa's Vanna Gloria is created by Dominic Rupion, by the way. Finally, finally, one of my latest discoveries, it's Zernel Gilly's Disco. Great fragrance. It's super, super sexy. Comes alive in the heat. This is my second bottle, by the way. I ended up buying another bottle from Ministry of Scent. Um, so I took my first bottle after I did my review with me to Europe uh, in September, October. Wore the whole thing and really, really loved it. What I like about this one, warmth. I mean, it's great any time of the year, but it really comes alive in the heat of the summer, most likely any warm days, especially also when your body is heating up, it has this amazing projection and cloud. I'm gonna tell you all about them more extensively as I get to each fragrance, but let's start with the first fragrance in the kit. And as I always say, the fragrances are organized in the way the brand has been around. So Laboratorio Olfativo has been around since 2010, I believe. So they're the first fragrance in the kit. So the newest brand is the last, the oldest brand is the first. So Vanna Gloria came out in 2021, created by Dominic Gropion. It's considered a smoky gourmand. And to me, it does remind me of Baby Cat. In fact, they're very close, not 
exactly identical, but very, very close. So now's your chance to smell what the baby cat smells like if you haven't been able to by getting the kit that features Vanagloria as one of the samples. So it features notes of saffron, pineapple accord, olibanum resinoid, olibanum EO, tonka beans absolute, vanilla bean extract, musk. So these are the notes that are in here. And for me, I've mentioned many times I've gotten bored of just plain Jane incense fragrances, but combining the incense with the vanilla is so intoxicatingly delicious. That's what I like about it. Vanilla is one of my favorite notes, my second favorite note. Here, it does wonders to the incense. It's definitely something that I appreciate because sometimes incense just gets boring and cold and not exciting. And here, the vanilla adds all that excitement. There's the olibanum that creates the resinous touch in here and also the, the smoky touch. And then the vanilla, this kind of syrupy vanilla, but turns it all very dry. The fragrance becomes dry, but you experience all that vanilla touch here, nicely blended with the two types of olibanum that's in here. Along the way, there's the tonka beans, there's the saffron to provide a leathery touch. The saffron is really, really great in here. It provides more of a kind of a suede leather touch, but really nice fabric-y smelling, fantastic. And then of course, there's some musk in here as well to give you a little bit of muskiness. Not, not, not too much, but this is a great, great fragrance. Super, super amazing. Again, it's created by Dominic Ropian who also created Baby Cat from YSL and also created Vanilla Barca from the house of uh, Amouage. I haven't really had too much experience with uh, Vanilla Barca because it is after all an attar. I don't personally enjoy wearing attars, but Baby Cat is great and Vana Gloria is really, really great. This came before Baby Cat did. This came out in 2021. Again, one of my favorite fragrances and I'm so, so grateful that I was able to coordinate with Laboratorio Olfativo to provide Vana Gloria. So this is the first fragrance in Kit number eight, that is Vana Gloria. And again, Vana Gloria is created by Dominic Ropian, and that's the second time I featured a Dominic Ropian fragrance in any Sun Club kits. Last mystery box number one, we had a fragrance from Dorsey that was also created by Dominic Ropian, and this is the second time. And speaking of perfumers, we have Chris Maurice here for Methexis, and this is the second time I believe I featured a Chris Maurice fragrance. We had Nilou Fair by Nila Fardou Nil. Uh, Amber Fougere fragrance in kit number two. Now, for Manus Gerakinus, we have Methexis. This is also the second Greek brand I've featured in St. Clump kits. I've featured, featured Angelo's Creations Olfactive three times now. First kit, Mystery Box 1 and Mystery Box 2. And then, of course, now the second Greek brand we have is Manos Gerakinis Parfums. And this is a super delicious gourmand figgy fruity fragrance with also the experience of the fig leaves. So if you like the idea of figs and fragrances, definitely get your nose on this one. And also, also, if you're a fan of Chris Maurice's gourmands, especially his gourmands for Zerzhov, better get your nose on this one because it's super, super delicious. And I love the gourmands that Chris Maurice creates. He does a great job with gourmands and I love it. And again, also, I should say, I shouldn't say this is the second Chris Maurice fragrance because I've also featured Ludo and also uh, Gold Spot in, uh, in uh, Scent Club Kits. So I'm forgetting. So he's been featured quite a bit. And if you like those fragrances, you might dig this one as well. It has the same creaminess. But Methexis features notes of figs, blackcurrant, dried fruits. For top notes in the heart, you've got honey, cocoa, cinnamon, vanilla. Finally, in the base notes, you've got amber, benzoin, musk, cedarwood, and vetiver. So this is really a great fragrance from the house of Manos Garakinis. Parfums. This is definitely my favorite fragrance from Manos Gerakinis Parfums. It's super, super delicious, very, very creamy, very fruity, a bit chocolatey, and also that greenness running throughout the fragrance as well, along with the amber, the resinous benzoin sweetness, and then the woods uh, and uh, the musk that comes in here. Absolutely delicious. So grateful to be able to provide this to you guys. And again, this brand is not widely distributed, so you might have a difficult time finding the fragrances of Manos Gerakinis Parfums. So now is your chance to sample it here in Scent Club Kit number eight. And this is Methexis once again from the house of Manos Gerakinis Parfums. And last but not least, it's Disco by the house of Zernel Gilly. Are you guys familiar with Zernel Gilly fragrances? He does music, more like genre, dance music genres uh, inspired fragrances. Disco was the first fragrance, then there was techno, then hip hop. I uh, really love this, uh, you know, idea of combining music and fragrances and disco is definitely my favorite from the collection. I absolutely love it. And again, I kept coming back to it over and over again at Ministry of Scent because 
It smells super sexy, really, really great. And it's kind of a freshy. Also, there's the idea of something molecular like ambroxan that's in here. It does say amber, so I'm assuming it's got, you know, the ambery experience that ambroxan has. But it leaves a very sexy trail in the heat when you pile the stuff on because it's super sexy smelling and really, really delicious. It's a tea fragrance with citruses and musk and amber and things like that, featuring notes of bergamot, violet, jasmine, grapefruit for top notes. In the heart, you've got saffron, lavender, tea, and tobacco. So finally, in the base notes, we've got amber, myrrh, patchouli, and cedar. And yeah, this one, as I was saying, I took it with me on a trip to Europe the months of September and October, wore it to death because I loved the smell so much. And in that heat, the fragrance really comes alive, blooms and creates a really nice trail, a super sexy trail. It's a freshy in the end. And again, you can wear it any time, time of the year, but it's that really sexy trail sillage that you create when your body temp heats up a little bit and the fragrance amplifies off of you. I can smell myself walking around and it smells super delicious and that's why I'm so happy that I'm able to feature Disco here in the latest Scent Club kit. Again, three awesome fragrances, three of my favorite fragrances for Scent Club kit number eight, and hopefully you guys will get your chance to try the kit. Again, we're almost sold out of uh, the kit. Let me show you the, the contents a little bit. This is the kit as usual, number eight, and the bottles. This is the last time the black bottles are gonna be used. We are almost done with the black bottles. So next year, it is gonna take us a little more time to get the next kit off the ground. Number nine uh, will be in clear bo glass bottles. Back to the glass bottles again, but this is, as you can see, uh, the latest kit. The, the labels have been made a little larger as well. And the pamphlet that comes with the kit. And there we go. And there we go. The bottles, as you can see. Yep, this is up now. It's linked in the info box. Please get your kits. Before we run out, once we run out, we are going to run out forever. And uh, we'll be moving on to kit number nine next year, sometime late February or March. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and finding out all about Scent Club kit number eight. Let me talk to you a little bit about Mystery Box. So Mystery Box was dropped on uh, Thanksgiving Day for past purchasers of kits. Then I officially dropped it on Black Friday, way at midnight. Uh, and so we ran out of the kit really quickly. In fact, I thought originally we ran out in 22 hours, but I think it was less time than that. So we, it was done by the time I even woke up on Black Friday. So uh, this is this took a lot of my time. We had so many problems with Mystery Box. Unfortunately, delays, DHL issues, fragrances being returned, you know, and then everything else that you have to do to prep to put the kits together and everything. But I'm so happy for this kit because it turned out to be really great. A lot of people have said great things about it. There's 22 fragrances in it. I'm sure you, since uh, some of you already got it, you can find out what uh, the fragrances are. And then also there's that booklet from Sarah Colton and a, a little sweet treat in there as well. So the discount codes have been put up. They're on the video for the mystery box where I'm announcing the actual fragrances. They're also on the website where the product was, where you purchased from, and also on the page with the discount codes. So if you're into the market of buying any of the fragrances here, I've got discount codes as many of the brands as I could. I'm still working on a few. And also don't forget, there's two fragrances in the kit that have not officially started selling yet. One of them is Plume Impressions Royal Bourbon, and the other one is Carioca Heart from the House of Juice Box. I believe Carioca Heart will be up around the 10th of December and uh, Plume Impressions Royal Bourbon somewhere after that, sometime after that. So stay tuned for those. There will be discount codes for both of those fragrances. But there's actually one brand that's not doing a discount code, but if you buy their fragrance, you get a, the whole entire discovery kit where you add it to your cart and then use that code. It'll gift you the discount code for free kind of a thing. But the majority of the brands are doing discount codes. Some of them are not, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I'm sure some of you guys will be able to figure out a way to get uh, the fragrances that you like as best as possible. But yeah, this is out and uh, sold out and uh, very happy with the results. I don't think I'll be doing this many samples on the next mystery box. And I believe the next mystery box will drop sometime in April, May. So there's a lot of time for that. Might be doing that two, two times a year, maybe three, who knows, but less samples. Uh, it was a bit challenging getting all those samples coordinated and sent and shipped and 
well, actually, some things that happened, some of them broke along the way. So there's there's all kinds of problems. But it was fun putting it together, just a bit stressful. Uh, and then uh, lastly, the next regular Scent Club kit probably will drop, like, like I said, sometime end of February in March. Uh, excited, but not really ready to drop anything as of now. We're perfecting the kit and the bottles. Although the kit's going to stay mostly the same. It's the bottles that we're working on to perfect the bottles. We're doing, trying to get some really nice bottles. And we're trying to get some bottles that are also, that will crimp on and will, will prevent from leakage and things like that. So I know we've had some problems with leakage. So the, hopefully the crimping will solve the, uh, the leakage issue. But anyway, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Again, kit number eight is out. Please get it before we run out. Once we run out, we run out. There's something surprise that also is going to drop, actually. You'll hear about it. Uh, we'll talk to you guys about it. Some little surprises coming up here and there that uh, we are going to also put on the website that you can take advantage of as well if you missed out on the last kit uh, last kits all the last kits that we've had all right guys thanks so much for watching today's video on scent club kit number eight do really want to thank everyone that's been buying the kits very much it does help the brands let you discover new fragrances and also it helps me out as well uh, look forward to more stuff next year really look forward to some great new kits I enjoy putting these together, but like I said, the last couple of them so close together was a bit stressful and a lot of time consuming. And uh, I've uh, stopped posting hardly on Instagram because having a full-time job and a video a day on YouTube and putting these kits together and, you know, getting a crew together to put them together and all that kind of stuff took a lot of my time. I've got a lot of content to post on Instagram so stay tuned for that once these are all settled and shipped off I'll get back to posting regularly on Instagram as well but really do want to thank everyone that's been buying the kits again like I said it helps the brands and it also helps me out as well hopefully you guys will have a wonderful holiday happy new year as well I'm going to be in Japan I've never been to Asia before first trip ever to Japan been wanting to go to Tokyo for the longest time so I'll be spending my holidays there um, will be a new one for me. But either way, thanks again very much. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff here on the channel, some exciting stuff. A lot of good stuff coming up next year, some really exciting stuff happening. But again, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone for the support of this channel and the kits. Again, uh, happy holidays to you all, and see you guys later. Bye-bye.